Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala holds back the sustenance of a person who's engaging in sin. That's the hadith. Rizq. Your rizq is held back because of a sin you are committing. Quit the sin and when Allah is happy, He will give you that rizq. So don't think that I have a lot, let me sin. No, you have a lot, you sin, Allah holds it back. Allah takes back your rizq. Imagine the hadith says a person's rizq is held back by Allah because of a sin he or she is committing. Don't do that. This is why when you seek Allah's forgiveness, He will grant you sustenance. He will give you a lot. If I want sustenance, what do I do? I need to ask Allah's forgiveness. Oh Allah, forgive me. Oh Allah, forgive me. Do it a hundred times a day and you find you get your sustenance. What does sustenance mean? It means there will be barakah and blessing in what Allah gives you. He will give it to you and on top of that, He will give you barakah. Imagine a person has so much, but there's no barakah, no blessing. One of the effects of sin is the barakah is snatched away. The blessing is snatched away. I had a hundred thousand ringgit. It's gone. Where did it go? I tell you, there are some sins perhaps you are committing. The money is gone. But some other person, I had five thousand ringgit. And you know what? Mashallah, I still have three left. It happens. The barakah in what you purchase. Sometimes you purchase an expensive vehicle. And in no time you're fixing it and taking it to the, to the service station and doing this and doing that. You know, we buy a car in order for the car to service us. But rather we become people who service the car. That's what happens. That's a punishment. Sell the car and say Bismillah the next time you buy a car. That's the thing. Some people buy a cheap car. I've, I've bought a Toyota, a little Corolla, mashallah. And you know what? I keep rolling with it. That's why they call it Corolla, mashallah. <laughs> keep rolling. It's done 120,000 kilometers and I'm still rolling, mashallah. And we service it once in a while, a few dollars here and there, and that's it. May Allah forgive us. May Allah still grant me barakah in that vehicle of mine. But at the same time, my brothers and sisters, the point being raised is barakah. I'm sure we've understood it to say, you might buy something cheap and it's so, so beautiful. It serves the purpose. It makes you happy. It's durable. It lasts. And sometimes you buy something very expensive and you know what? It didn't last. And don't fool yourself to say it's still under guarantee, under warranty. Let me go back. No. The point being raised is just turn to Allah. Make dua to Allah. When you select things, when you say things, relate that to Allah. Allah gave you, so say Bismillah. Oh Allah, I'm about to purchase something expensive. You know, we purchase a house. It's not cheap. It's expensive. And we buy a house and after we've gone into the house, everything goes wrong. And we start thinking to ourselves, someone did magic on me. You know, that's the first point of stopping, isn't it? People are jealous. I bought a house. Oh, look what's happening to me. Jealous, jealous. You look at your best friend, jealous. Look at your mother, jealous. Everyone's jealous. Nobody's jealous. You are jealous of yourself. You haven't even read Salat al Fajr in the same house. And you want barakah in that house? Come on. As salatu khayrum minan naum. I'm sure we've heard that so many times. Amazing. So this is where the effect of sin comes in. Then there is another effect of sin. And that is, you forget everything that is beneficial in terms of knowledge. So I knew Surah Al-Fatiha, I knew this, I knew that, and I start forgetting things. Why? Because ilm, al-ilmu nurun. Ilm is a light. And that light is snatched away from the one who perpetrates sin without turning back to Allah. So if you want to remember what you are taught, you want to have a better memory when it comes to the knowledge of the deen. Remember to seek the forgiveness of Allah. Lots of istighfar is a bonus. Oh Allah, you know what I did. I'm admitting my sin. You don't have to say it, but at least you know. You know my sin. I've committed the sin. I regret it. I won't do it again. And I'm going to turn to you, oh Allah, right now, forever. Allah forgives you. We hope you will continue to enjoy our content. Don't forget to subscribe. And by pressing the bell next to the subscribe button, you will receive updates and notifications. Thank you.